Flower mandalas are mesmerizing to look at on paper. What would they look like if we can create one in real life? Today we're designing and laser cutting a simple flower mandala. To design the layered mandala, I use a software called Rhino which I use for almost all of my laser cut projects and draw lines of symmetry that we'll use as our guide. Then, I focus on creating the outside flower petal design in one quadrant of our guide. To do this, I draw lines to create specific points within the quadrant and use the Curve by Points tool to create a simple curve. By selecting it, we can drag the points and control the density of the curvature. I continue this process of drawing lines as my guide and curves to create additional flower petals within the overall design. Once the design is complete in one quadrant, I select the entire pattern, turn it into a block, and use the Array Circle command to copy it around the center point of our guide 12 times. This places it in each quadrant. Now we can double click one block, make changes like deleting the overlapping lines, and completing the change. This applies it to all of the blocks. Next, we'll copy the design over, delete the copies of the original block, explode the remaining one, create a new block, use the offset command to inset the pattern, delete the outer lines, and use the circle array command to copy it to all the other areas. We can test the design by extruding it and creating a 3D model for review. During this part of the process, I decided to add one additional layer at the bottom which will be a clear blue acrylic to add color and depth to the layered flower mandala. With the design complete, it's time to laser cut the project. I apply paper masking tape to protect this maple plywood from the laser. I'll also be using mahogany plywood and blue acrylic to create depth and add color. Now we can insert the blue acrylic and start the process of laser cutting. I love watching the laser cut the outline of the flower with the subtle curves of each petal. Layered mandala projects are one of my favorite to design because they look extremely complex but once you understand the lines of symmetry and designing them in quadrants, it comes together quickly. For this project, it took 2 minutes to cut the base layer from the blue acrylic and 13 minutes for each wood layer. In total, it took about 40 minutes to laser cut on my Glowforge laser cutter. Once the pieces were cut, I removed them from my machine and moved them to my work table. I removed the paper masking tape to reveal the beautiful wood finishes and the blue acrylic. I brought over my Maxi Gear super glue and applied it to the back side of the layer above the base. We'll be building this project from the bottom layer upwards. Once the glue was applied throughout the layer, I flipped it over, aligned it with the base layer, and pressed it into place. We'll repeat this with each layer. Since this project is symmetrical, we just need to make sure that the outer edge of each layer is fully aligned. Some of the layered mandala projects that I design will have variations in the design or the outer edges will change in shape. For those kinds of projects, there's always an area of the design with a marking or a repeated shape that helps me align each layer. Once the glue is dry, the simple flower mandala is complete. The blue acrylic base combined with the wood layers above creates a beautiful art piece that you can display on any wall in your home. If you enjoyed this project, check out my other wood craft videos and consider subscribing. I'll see you again next week.